Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about conventional and advanced algal cultivation methods. First I'm going to explain about conventional algal cultivation method. Here the first step is the collection of the sample. For that we require suitable container, small knife, forceps, gloves, mesh or cloth bag and a ice filled cooler. Now the methods are first we have to weigh the gloves and mark the container with the date, depth, location, whether the water is saline or brackish or a fresh water. Then collect the entire or a part of the algal specimen from a shallow or deep water. Large specimen should be shaken or gently squeezed on collection to remove excess water. Gently place the specimen in the container with sufficient water. Place the container in a ice field cooler. Isolation of the algae. For that first we have to isolate the algae manually. Uh, either use a membrane filter for separation of the filamentous algae from the bacteria or we can use a mixture of ethanol of about 40 to 50 percent and sodium hypochlorite of 1 percent for removal of micro epibionts. Now in case of um, antibiotics screening to eliminate uh, fungal contaminants we can use uh, nistatin which is in the concentration of 100 mg per ml or even we can use bavestin. Now one of the conventional method to cultivate macroalgae is uh, use of nets. Now these nets are fixed to the bamboo frame or wooden pole forming a raft like structure that anchor to the sea bottom and held at the fixed depth with a float and can be used for algal cultivation. Single rope floating raft method which is also called as a long rope or nylon twine of 10 meter diameter is attached to the wooden stakes with two synthetic floats. Algal fragments are put in a twist of rope or tied to the nylon twine and cultured in seashore area. The whole thallus can be harvested leaving a small piece that can be used for further cultivation. Use of cultivation of uh, it can be used in the cultivation of grassal area. Spray culture. Macroalgae can be cultivated on the land using saline or sea water under controlled environmental condition of sunlight, temperature, moisture and nutrients. The water supply can be used on the sand or in multiple tire ray to maintain a thin film of sea water enriched with nutrients on the surface of the macroalgae and this can be recycled. Seaweed cultivation at the sea bottom. Here the seaweed is placed into the sea bottom attached to the sand filled plastic tube and placed on the sandy bottom cultured in seashore area. Next is fragment culture. A small fragment of the algal thallus are placed on a suitable environment that will support their growth. Now earlier we studied about different types of uh, macroalgae cultivation which comes under conventional method. Now we will study about collection of microalgae isolation and cultivation which comes under conventional method. Here the water sample can be collected in a small container and it can be stored in a ice cooler or the algae can be collected using a mesh net or scoop the algal scum or even we can use a deep water sampler. Washing and centrifugation method. Repeated washing and or centrifugation of water sample result in isolation of the large organism. Isolation of microalgae. Here the microalgae can be separated from a sing, I mean a sample using micropipette under microscope. 
we will observe the microalgal sample in the microscope and a single cell can, I mean, uh, single cell can be isolated by micropipettes. By exploiting the phototactic movement, usually the motile algae will move to one direction and can be isolated with micropipette. Serial dilution agar plate method. Unialgal culture may grow in one of the higher dilution tube. Required algal species can be picked up with an inoculate, inoculation needle under microscope and then can be streaked on the surface of the agar plate and incubated under suitable condition for light and temperature. The, develop, the developed algal colonies can be transferred to the culture tube for obtaining a pure culture. Then from the test tube, uh, these algal culture can be mass multiplied into the conical flask. From there too, it will be transferred to the corbyl culture. Then from the corbyl culture, it will be transferred to the open air culture. From there to a growth pond. Now the final stage of microalgal cultivation in conventional method is the harvesting. Harvesting should not cause contamination of the biomass or influence biomass quality. Harvesting microalgae can be done by various methods such as coagulation and flocculation, flotation, centrifugation, senti uh, sedimentation and uh, filtration or combination of various techniques. Advanced algal cultivation methods. Now the advanced algal cultivation method consists of different types of uh, algal cultivation methods. One is um, both macroalgae as well as in case of microalgae. So first one is the tissue culture method. Here the part of the terminal portion of the thallus which could be like 0.3 cm to 5 cm or a blade or hold fast can be used as an explant. The explant can be cultured in enriched art or artificial regulator and this may result in callus formation and regeneration. And uh, example of the macroalgae which are grown in this tissue culture method are chondrus, crispus and laminaria angustata. Reproductive method which is also comes under macroalgae. Cultivation of macroalgae from the spores like different kinds of spores like zoospores, monospores, tetraspores, corpospores, etc. collected and used for the cultivation. Example is gracilaria. Open pond cultivation. Algae can be cultured in open pond such as raceway or it could be cultivated in lakes or ponds. There are two main advantages of culturing microalgae using open pond system. Firstly, an open pond system is easier to build and operate. Second one is that the open pond are cheaper than closed photobioreactor. Disadvantages of um, open pond is that it cannot be maintained. Like we can't maintain the temperature and light at particular range and the chances of contamination of the culture will be more. It is used mainly for the cultivation of algae with high oil content. Raceway pond usually lined with a plastic or cement uh, made up of about um, 20 to th 35 centimeter in depth to ensure adequate exposure to sunlight. Pedal wheeling provide motive force and keep the algae suspended in the water. The pond are supplied with water and nutrients and the mature algae can be continuously removed at one end. Some of the example for open pond cultivation are spirulina and chlorella. Closed loop system. Example for this is a photobioreactor, an alternative to open ponds for large scale production of microalgal biomass are photobioreactors. The term photobioreactor is used to indicate an closed system that do not allow for direct exchange of gases or contaminants between the algal culture in which the, 
the algae is grown like if it is grown in a photobioreactor and the environment there are different types of photobioreactors these device provide a protective environment for the cultivated species and the culture parameters such as ph oxygen carbon dioxide concentration and temperature it is um, as it is closed system we have to supply all nutrients including carbon dioxide different types of medium are used for different types of algae for example bg11 medium is used for the growth of chlorophyceae members bold basil medium is used for the cultivation of freshwater algae asn 3 medium and uh, 2 2 medium are used for the cultivation of marine cyanobacteria it prevent evaporation and reduce water use and uh, lower carbon dioxide losses due to out grassing and uh, permit higher cell concentration thus reducing the operation co costs and attain higher productivity example is dunaliella bardavil and rhodella reticulata there are different types of photobioreactor one is vertical tubular photobioreactor which is further divided into bubble column photobioreactor and air lift photobioreactor another one is flat panel photobioreactor third is horizontal tubular photobioreactor fourth is helical type photobioreactor stir tank photobioreactor and the last one is hybrid type photobioreactor vertical tubular photobioreactor under that the first one is the bubble column photobioreactor there are two types one is the bubble column uh, photobioreactor here the cylindrical vessel with a height greater than the uh, twice the diameter and uh, low capital cost is seen and even the high surface area to volume ratio has been observed used in aeration and treatment of wastewater uh, treatment in bubble column the hydrodynamics and mass transfer depend on the size of the bubbles and how they are released from the sparger the relative homogeneous cultural environment has been observed efficient release of the oxygen and residual gas mixture is seen the sparger present but no agitation has been introduced efficiency greatly depend on the gas flow rate now the second type of vertical column photobioreactor is the air lift bioreactor here the mixing is accomplished without any mechanical agitation used for algal culture and tissue culture because the tissue are sensitive to shear stress thus normal mixing is not possible is air is fed to the bottom of the central drought tube through the sparger ring the flow passes up through the draft tube to the head space of the bioreactor where excess air and uh, byproduct and the carbon dioxide disengage in general the air lift bioreactor consists of the following feature the internal loop the external loop and a draft tubes plate photobioreactor here the construction is based on the plastic or glass plates plates with different technical design are mounted to form a small layer of culture suspension which provide an optimized light supply in addition the simpler construction compared to tubular reactor allow the use of less expensive plastic material some unsolved issue are the material life time stability or uh, biofilm forming biofilms are like uh, if you take an example of uh, ship on which all uh, other microorganisms start growing on that that type of uh, biofilm formation in the uh, plates of or the plastic plates will be seen and uh, 
you know even the cleaning of that biofilm is bit difficult that is the um, unsolved issue in this photobioreactor flat panel photobioreactor it is designed to facilitate green algae hydrogen production at the laboratory scale coherent non heating illumination is provided by the panel of cool white light emitted diode the reactor body consists of two compartment construction from transparent polymethyl methacrylate sheet the primary compartment hold the algal culture which is agitated by the means of recirculating gas lift the secondary compartment is used to control the temperature of the system and the wavelength of the radiation the reactor is fit to the fit with probe sensor that monitor the ph dissolved oxygen temperature and optical thickness of the algal culture the membrane inlet mass spectro spectrometry system has been developed and incorporated into the reactor for dissolved hydrogen measurement and collection next is horizontal tubular photobioreactor it consists of horizontal uh, tubes which is having the algal culture or which can be used for the wastewater treatment it is advantage in um, i mean it has advantage in outdoor culture for their orientation towards the sunlight resulting in high light conversion efficiency helical type photobioreactor it consists of a coiled transparent flexible tube of small diameter with separate or attached degassing unit now this um, coiled transparent uh, flexible tube with a small diameter uh, are also called as solar receiver and the exhaust gas or the uh, degassing unit is called as airlift system here the culture will be grown algal microalgal culture can be grown in this um, helical tube next is stirred tank photobioreactor in this photobioreactor baffles are used in order to reduce the vortexing and the disadvantage of stirred tank photobioreactor is that low surface area to volume ratio which in turn decrease the light harvest efficiency of the algal biomass the uh, next is hybrid type photobioreactor the advantage of two different types of reactor and one overcomes the disadvantage of the other is called as hybrid type photobioreactor christmas tree photobioreactor is built in a tapered geometry and which carries a helical attached translucent double hose circuit system the result is a layout similar to christmas tree the tubular system is constructed in modules and can theoretically be scaled outdoor up to agriculture i mean up to agricultural scale the dedicated location is not crucial similar to other closed system therefore non arable land is suitable as well the material choice should prevent biofouling and ensure high efficiency i mean ensure high final biomass concentration the combination of turbulence and closed concept should allow the clean operation and high operational availability thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you